It's really interesting what's happened in the world. We all thought there was all was going to be computer science all the time, or that the STEM stuff was going to be the only thing of importance, and everybody was going to be,、uh, you know, going to be an engineer or a scientist. And it turns out that as we've gone through things in the D school and started to work on these real problems, that the empathy for the people, the humanities part of every project, was the one we were going to come up with our big ideas. So it's not that we don't. Uh, that we don't need humanities. It's the opposite. We expect to get our good ideas from using principles that、uh, typical people in the humanities would use: empathy for people, or anthropology, or understanding philosophically what people care about. They use a process、uh, we call it design thinking. Another way that we describe it is human-centered design. There's certainly lots of people who come up with technical ideas, and then they try to. To to figure out whether people want them or not, and we come into it now and and think that the biggest innovations are coming from、um, understanding people and what they value and what's meaningful to them, and then go and try and find a technical solution or a business solution to that. We have a project called Embrace, which is about. Um, helping mothers allow their babies who are in rural areas to maintain their body weight before they can get to an incubator if they're if they're underweight if they're premature. In order to get this to work, we had all the technical problems of getting the paraffin, which is how the that holds its weight to be the right temperature and stuff. The engineers and the technical part of the project had a a little、uh, thermometer on it. The instructions were to heat it to、um, to 90 degrees. And but、uh, they went out and they were they weren't working and they couldn't figure out what it was and but one of the anthropologists had been talking to the mother and the mother said, well、um, this is in India and she said we only heat it up to seventy degrees instead of ninety because Western medicine is so strong and so that caused us to go back and redesign and change the thermometer to a thing that said. Okay, or ready. We we had to make it so in in a way that fit that culture. The importance of humanities in in helping to solve these big problems is、uh, is surprisingly、uh, catching on and is and more important than I think we ever thought. We thought it was mostly going to be a technical problem to solve a lot of these things, and and so every D school team has some humanities person on it.、Um, we we would hardly get started doing a project without. Doing the empathy work that、uh, that the humanities people do, the, what we call the human factors people do, to try to understand what what's worth working on. So, it's very, been very surprising and heartwarming for the humanities. Their involvement is going to be at the center of all these really interesting、uh, world problems. The things that matter are going to have teams. Um, that they, in, in fact, to get into the D school, it's easier to get into a class if you're a humanities major than if you are an engineer or a business person because we need them on every team, right? And so it's been、uh, it's been wonderful to see that that empathy and the human side of things has such a prominent role in、uh, in the in the world of you know solving these big problems.